because what I want to do today is I want to take this opportunity that's been given to me, not just to repeat the statistics we have all heard, sometimes ad nauseum, about problems concerning gender and problems concerning pay equity. I want to talk about the impact of super diversity on pay equity because it is that double disadvantage which is the biggest elephant in the room in 2015. Because in the 21st century, when we're kicking off the 2015 pay equity campaign for the WCA Equal Pay Awards, the biggest elephant in the room, which has no visibility in this country to date, which no one has written about, and where you can't even get the data to scale the depth of the problem, uh, is, about, is the fastest growing unequal pay issue in the market today. If we don't tackle it now, it will become a tsunami by 2038. That's 25 years' time. And it will make New Zealand overall much less equal between the haves and the have-nots. And it will predominantly affect the young. I'm talking about the double disadvantage. I'm talking about the intersection between gender and race. And because it is the intersection between gender and race, it will also intersect with age. Now, I'm not saying that people are neatly packaged categories. They're not. We're all not equally defined categories. We can identify with more than one equality strand at a time. So sometimes it is the intersection between gender and race, disability, age, sexuality, religious belief. But I want to focus on the intersection between gender and race and ethnicity because Auckland is super diverse now.